Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna cover how I made my vineyard for my GN15 model railway. Although this is in GN15, this can be done in any scale that uh, you are modeling in. This is a quick project. The first thing I did was I went to the herb garden and grabbed a bunch of dried thyme that already lost its leaves and started cutting them to length. Next, I started uh, hot gluing these branches in kind of a spread out uh, method um, over a prepared uh, base. Since hot glue doesn't instantly grab, uh, you have to have nice podcasts or music on to uh, listen to while you're holding the branches up in the proper angle that you want. After gluing some of the, um, the vines, I started looking at uh, the side of the hill rise to see what I could do. Here I'm using uh, plumber's putty um, to uh, kind of texture the side. Not sure I'm convinced that I did uh, the best job possible, so I'm, I may have to revisit this and see if there's uh, more texture I can add, paint it a little differently. But for the moment, um, this is what I could come up with. This is uh, Durham's uh, water putty, and it's uh, a very good product. I use it for a lot of things. I use it for including modeling um, my buildings, and I also use it for uh, uh, modeling the cobblestone on the streets. Uh, very uh, versatile, durable uh, material. Not convinced that I got the illusion that I want. I started adding some dirt from the backyard and uh, here I am gluing it down with a mix of water and glue and a little bit of uh, alcohol. This is what it looks like after painting. I'm going to keep working on it. It Up until this point, just with uh, the little uh, branches sticking up, wasn't uh, the most convincing, but with the addition of the Woodland Scenics uh, light foliage uh, material, which is normally used in HO scale for um, trees to represent leaves. Um, here I am using it to uh, add the foliage for the um, to the vines. One of the things is that this uh, package is a little deceptive because it looks like very little but actually it comes folded so you have to unfold it as much as you can uh, and then the next thing I did after unfolding it is to uh, begin cutting into the strips the key thing is uh, do this over um, either a piece of paper or, or something to catch the leaves that actually fall down, which you could then reuse later. Here I am uh, starting to tease it out to make it a little bit more airy and not so dense. Uh, I think that uh, making it airy makes it look a little bit more realistic that this is uh, a real live vine. And then you just simply drape it over the, um, the little branches and you successfully, successfully do it uh, row after row after row. Here's where a podcast again will help you out because it's rather tedious but a very relaxing uh, activity. That takes a while if you do it slowly but carefully but then it comes out super nice. This is in real life, far more convincing that, uh, that this video can actually demonstrate. I'm glad that you've come this far to uh, watch my video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And please give, us me, give me any suggestions of how I can even further improve the realism of these uh, vines. Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitana. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.